for, and then I'll come back to you. Alright, so uh, see you when I've got some destruction spells. Alright, so I'm speaking to Feralda again in the uh, College of Winterhold. And uh, somehow I missed this option fir the first time I talked to her. Um, she not only has the uh, option of training you in destruction, so you can just pay gold for destruction skill, but she also has a what do you have for sale option, which uh, brings you to a number of things, um, one of which includes books. And it seems like these tomes are about on par to prices elsewhere um, in uh, Skyrim. Um, I may have to do a little comparison and get back to you on that. I may sl slap an annotation in here to let you know if these are cheaper or about the same. Um, but here you have some of the spells that I probably should have looked for earlier. Um, especially these, uh, let's see, Ice Spike, these ranged ones that I can just toss. Those will really help against uh, dragons, plus they do more damage. Um, so uh, I'm going to look into getting a few of these. I really want to try the runes out just because I think it uh I think it's going to be a spell that'll be a little bit tougher to abuse, but because it's not something you can just throw at the enemy, it's probably going to be extremely mana efficient. So if I can pull enemies into it, which I'm sure that I can, uh it should be a really efficient spell to use. Um I don't necessarily want to go all out. I have almost 5000 gold and uh depending on how my mage quarters work out, I may want to end up spending some of that on a house. Although I may be able to get by without having the house right now. Um, so let me just get the frost rune. It doesn't look like it slows movement speed, but I'm going to hope. And then I'm going to get the ranged fire spells for, uh, or I should say the ranged uh, magic bolt spells for uh, flames and for lightning. Flame bolt and lightning bolt. Um, and then for right now, that's all I'm going to do just to not spend uh, too much money. So let's go learn those it's real fast. Items, books, firebolt, frost rune, lightning bolt. All right, and let's get some favorites going on here. All destruction, firebolt, frost rune, lightning bolt. And uh, now let's whisk away to test them out. All right, I am in the Hall of Countenance now, which is where I just talked to Feralda, and I actually just noticed. Um, by the stairs. Let's see if I can find the front door. Okay, pretty easily. The front door's straight across the way. The stairs in the back have a little hidden passage under them called the Midden. Um, I just now peeked down here and I'm pretty sure I saw an enemy. So uh, I figured I'd just show you guys where I went um, just so as to not blink off into a random dungeon. And uh, I'm gonna go see if I can find this enemy and do something bad to him. That was an interesting sound. Caught me off guard. So just a door, huh? And that goes to Skyrim? No, to the Midden Dark. Let's do it. The Midden Dark. I did not clear that area, however, clearing an area is not my primary focus right now. I want to compare the strength of my new spells. Wow. That is really bizarre. Oh great, I want to test the frost one. Something tells me I'm going to see a frost troll. Yeah, and I know there's a chest there. It's going to deeply hurt me to walk past it. But, I'm a man on a mission right now. Wow, no enemies really? I feel like I need to just run doing a berserker charge through here. Hit the first thing I come upon. Requires a key. You know, Skyrim is kind of diff difficult to uh, to move through objectively, because it does this to you all the time. It throws you off on insane tangents. Yes, finally. I don't have enough magic. Okay, I can't even single cast. Ah! Oh boy. Okay, so each one individually works. Let's uh, let's try double time. Double times a one shot. Of course, the skeletons aren't some of the tougher opponents. Now, what I was trying to do in the beginning of that was um, this is my frost rune. I can't even cast it in one hand. Like, I'm trying that, that right hand. I don't have enough magicka. Wow. I don't even have enough mana to cast one hand of frost rune. That's interesting. And for reference, 
My man is at 200 right now. I've kind of dumped into it. Uh, that looks creepy. I'm thinking I'm probably getting ready to reveal some quest elements. Activate Relic Ring Finger. Let's do it. Okay. Looks like I need a ring to activate the Relic Ring Finger. And it sounds like Lydia knows that as she's uh, scoffing at me. Read the mid Midden Incident Report. Let's see how long this is real quick. Oh, that's not too long. The missing students were found in the Midden this morning. Dead as expected. None of us bothered keeping a Detect Life Charm for the search at this point. The bodies were found together, each suffering the same deformities. Peeled and bubbling skin on the arms and face. Conjurers burns as... I'm sorry, Conjurers burn as it's commonly referred to around the college. There's little doubt they were attempting a summoning ritual well beyond their capabilities. The relic nearby put any doubt in this theory to rest. I admit that I've never seen one like it. A large segmented sculpture of a gauntlet. The Daedric... Oh, hold up, hold up. The Daedric sigil emblazoned upon the palm. Yeah, the little symbol of oblivion, if you guys are familiar. Attempts to move it were in vain. I must show it to Archmage Sedoth during his upcoming visit. Perhaps he will know more. So Archmage Sedoth. I know that the Archmage right now is uh, Savos Arin, uh, which r reminds me a whole lot of Metroid. Um, Sedoth is not that Archmage, so this is so long ago that it was a different Archmage. While we couldn't move the relic, I was able to pry four rings from it. I'm sure there's a connection between them and the ritual the students were attempting. I'll store these in the Arcanium until we can consult with a Conjuration Master to learn more. And it looks like he's left me a key, too. The Investigator's Key. So, uh... Wow. I wonder if the Arcanium still has those rings. Now I can actually, uh, inquire about that. And I can hope that I find an enemy harder than a skeleton. Somewhere? Anywhere? If I make it back out to Skyrim, I'll probably go ahead and cut the video off until I can make my way to a random dungeon and, uh, whoa. So here's the firebolt. Wow, I'm thinking let's just go this way. Oh yeah, that's much better. Mushrooms for... Oh! Spider. Where at? Whoa. Oh yeah, here we go. Wow, missed. This takes a lot of mana. I can't miss with these. I have to make sure that I don't miss with these. Ah! Level 7! Can I cast one? Okay. They're not horrible. Oh, by the way, uh, this works with archery as well. If you have a, a bow drawn, or I guess for spells, if you have a spell loaded, you can just hit R to resheath your weapons, or I guess sheath your hands. Um, and it'll stop your spell casting, or it will uh, let your arrow down without uh, firing it. Oh, hey, hey, check that out. Empty wine bottle. What? Why do I always get suckered in to picking up the useless stuff? What? Surely it's not like a food or something. Empty. Du -du 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 e comes before W. That is freaking out. Let's go ahead and get this level up. Okay, um... So having 130 health, I would kind of like to stack into that a little bit more. But having this nice new frost rune that I can't cast, I think I have to go Magicka. And I think I also have to go Apprentice Destruction. Let me let me let me look at what I got here. Oof. Flames Frost or Shock. Intense flame causes the damage to flee if their health is low, paralyzes the target if their health is low or disintegrates the target if their health is low. So shock spells could potentially um, kill any creatures below 15% health. Uh, frost and intense flames trigger their effect at any creatures below 20% health. So it could paralyze... Oh, that was a big jump. Uh, bound weapons do more damage, intense flames. Huh, I'm thinking that's a glitch. Hold on. Yeah, fire damage causes targets to flee. So that's, that's below 20%. It will cause that. I kind of want to uh, specialize in shock, but I don't necessarily want to do it now. And since each of these are their own tree, you can kind of just continue to specialize in your main destruction tree and uh, at least get the mana reduction talents. Uh, what is Rune Master? Can place runes five times farther away. That would be interesting. Uh, if runes were cool, I don't know yet. Impact would be really nice too. What do I need for 
impact. Uh, higher skill, yeah, I need 40 destruction. What is my destruction at? 31? Okay. Yep, I'm going to get apprentice level. I assume that uh, this frost rune is apprentice, and apprentice level spell, and I s assume that these bolts are as well. Um, let me try to cast the frost rune now. Can I do one? I can do one. Okay, put one down. Can I do two? I cannot do two still. Okay, so let me see one. I have a rune. Interesting. Alright, do I have an enemy nearby that I can pull into it? Where are the spiders when you need them? Uh, that doesn't look entirely familiar. Maybe it does. I can, there's a door up there. Maybe not. There's a bridge right above me. I bet I have been here. No more spiders? I don't see any more. Okay, let's continue on. Very quickly then. Not searching, not searching. Since this is so close, especially, I'm sure I'll have another chance to go back through that dungeon. Um, it's in the bottom of the College of Winterhold, so I will definitely clear that out sometime in the near future. Um, whoa, dropping down now. What do we got here? Oh, you literally can't go back in that way because the drop down is on this side of the cave opening. Wow, where am I? Not too far from the College of Winterhold. I'm like down below it, aren't I? Heck yeah, I am. The College of Winterhold's right above me. That's pretty darn cool. Okay, I'm going to cut the video off until I can find a random dungeon, and I want to do a little bit more spell testing, and then we'll get right back to the college. Alright, so this isn't a completely random dungeon, but it's one that I found earlier and was not able to clear. Um, I didn't really try hard, I just kind of tried briefly when I was real low level, and I decided that I wanted to go, to go for the dragon first. Since I'm going to be testing some spells out, I figured I might as well go through it. Um, this is a cave that's real close to the Sunderstone Gorge, which is where I got my flame breath. And uh, I Stop ran right into uh, a Nord out here not. in front of the cave that uh, told me about some fallen comrades and told me about some Spriggans ambushing him inside this cave as they were trying to poach for bear pelts. Now, uh, it'd be cool if there was two ways that you could do this quest, you know, just like stick him in the head because he's a filthy poacher, or, you know, come in here and try to save his people or his, his uh, crewmates. Um, but I don't think he can. I think it's pretty much just help him or not. Uh, he does follow you. I think it's actually a dialogue option. Um, but you can get him to follow you in this quest, which, with Lydia or any other companion, puts your companion total up to two, which makes it pretty nice. Now, I also just got my leveled up fire spells, and these Spriggans are incredibly weak to fire. So that's going to hopefully make this quest just super easy. Whoa, whoa. All except for, wow, the Spriggan that does insane damage. Well, let's uh, resist some 10% magic. And 35 Potion of Minor Healings. I'm thinking I might be good to use a few of those. And I'm going to charge the spell again. Oh, I got the Bear Love. Boy, that's nasty. Alright, well... Let's try again. Right back in the cave. I actually see this brigand from over here. Um, I'm going to be smart about this. I'm going to set up a frost trap. Oh, nice. Look, my, uh, my crosshair goes red when it's just far enough away to plant. So five times further than right there is about the edge. With that destruction perk, would put the spell out there a good ways. I actually tried to cast it too far. Alright, I'm going to let my mana regen, let that rune sink in, and then I'm going to launch a firebolt right over here at this Spriggan. Alright. I see you, Spriggan. Woo, caught myself. That was actually dangerous. I probably should have been a little bit smoother on that attempt. Woo! She went down quick. The best thing was, I didn't even see her bear. So that means that me pulling her, me attacking her from this range, uh, kept the bear from interfering with the fight. Um, if you were a melee character, this might be noticeably harder, uh, just for having to fight the bear at the same time as the Spriggan. 